Copyright 2018. Walters Kluwer. Chapter 12. Nursing Care to Promote Fetal and Maternal Health. Self-care needs during pregnancy, bathing. Daily tub baths or showers, do not soak for long periods in extremely hot water, change to showering or sponge bathing if indicated. Breast care. As size increases, wear firm, supportive bra, when colostrum begins, wash with clear water and dry. Dental care. Maintain good oral health. Perineal hygiene. Maintain good hygiene, douching contraindicated. Clothing. Avoid garments that impede lower extremity circulation, moderate to low-heeled shoes recommended. Sexual activity. May continue as long as woman is comfortable. Perineal hygiene. Maintain good hygiene, douching contraindicated. Clothing. Avoid garments that impede lower extremity circulation, moderate to low-heeled shoes recommended. Sexual activity. May continue as long as woman is comfortable. Exercise. Continue exercise, intensity depends on baseline fitness, continue sports participation unless it involves body contact. Sleep. If trouble falling asleep drink glass of warm milk, try relaxation exercises. Sleep in a left-sided sims position. Employment. Unless involves exposure to toxic substances, lifting heavy objects, other kinds of excessive physical strain, long periods of standing or sitting, or having to maintain body balance, working may continue, if unable to continue, protected from loss of employment benefits by federal law. Travel. No restrictions, except if vaccine required, recommend investigating location of nearby health facility, if long travel time, take frequent rest and stress breaks. 2020 National Health Goals Related to a Healthy Lifestyle During Pregnancy, Increase the Proportion of Pregnant Women Who Receive Early and Adequate Prenatal Care From a Baseline of 70.5% to a Target of 77.6%. Increase to 100% from a Baseline of 94.9% The Proportion of Pregnant Women Who Abstain From Illicit Drugs During Pregnancy. Increase to 95% from a baseline of 90% the proportion of pregnant women who abstain from alcohol during pregnancy. Increase to 98.5% from a baseline of 89.6% the proportion of pregnant women who abstain from cigarette smoking during pregnancy. Increase to 100% from a baseline of 95% the proportion of pregnant women who abstain from binge drinking, i.e., drinking a large amount of alcohol over a short time with the primary intention of becoming intoxicated, during pregnancy. Assessing second and third trimester discomforts, muscular slash skeletal discomfort, backache, headache, dyspnea, ankle edema, Braxton Hicks contractions. Assessing for preliminary signs of labor. Assessing exposure to teratogens, Maternal infections that affect fetus. Malaria. Rubella, German measles. Toxoplasmosis. Herpes simplex virus, HSV. Cytomegalovirus. Syphilis. Infections that cause illness at birth. Gonorrhea. Candidiasis. Chlamydia. Streptococcus B. Hepatitis B. Infections that cause illness at birth. Gonorrhea, candidiasis, chlamydia, streptococcus B, hepatitis B, live virus vaccines, herbs, alcohol, tobacco, environmental, metal and chemical hazards, radiation, hyperthermia and hypothermia, maternal stress, nursing diagnoses, healthy pregnancy, health-seeking behaviors related to interest in maintaining optimal health during pregnancy. Anxiety related to minor body changes of pregnancy. Risk for deficient fluid volume related to gestational nausea and vomiting. Disturbed body image related to changes in appearance with pregnancy. Risk for altered sexuality patterns related to fear of harming fetus during pregnancy. Disturbed sleep pattern related to frequent need to empty bladder during night. 
risk for fetal injury related to intimate partner violence. Outcomes, healthy pregnancy, set realistic goals. Short-term goals. Teaching. Direct application. Nursing care to promote healthy behavioral practices. Modified Sims position. Technique to relieve a leg cramp. Position to relieve varicosities. Knee, chest positions. Nursing care to promote healthy behavioral practices, schedules exercises. Nursing process, implementation. Pregnancy education. Role modeling. Nursing process, outcome evaluation. Are identified goals being met? Question, a woman who is three months pregnant enjoys a slow, long walk daily. Which of the following would be most appropriate for her concerning this for the remainder of her pregnancy? Reduce walking to half a block daily. Continue this as long as she enjoys it. Stop and rest every block. Engage in aerobics for greater benefits. Answer, B. Continue this as long as she enjoys it. Rationale, walking is an excellent exercise during pregnancy because it is low impact and increases venous circulation. Question, if constipation is a problem for a woman during pregnancy, which of the following measures would be best to recommend? Mineral oil. Increasing fluid intake. Reducing her iron supplement. Increasing intake of meat in her diet to provide fiber. B. Increasing fluid intake. Rationale, increasing fluid content helps relieve constipation in both pregnant and non-pregnant women. Reducing an iron supplement could lead to anemia, mineral oil can reduce absorption of fat-soluble vitamins. Meat does not contain fiber. Question, a pregnant woman is planning on taking a vacation that involves extensive travel by automobile. Which of the following guidelines should you give her? Travel no more than 50 miles daily. Do not use a lap seat belt. Stop and walk every hour. Avoid riding in a pickup truck. See stop and walk every hour. Rationale, the danger of long periods of travel occurs when the woman sits for long periods with her knees sharply bent. Walking increases venous return and reduces the possibility of thrombophlebitis.